um, we were talking, and Bernard, you were talking about robotics, and you were telling me some things. Talk about that. So here it is, you all. We want to make sure that ourselves, our children, are retrofitted for what is here. Not what's coming. It's here. And I believe that before the year is over, they're going to be moving more and more and more and more robotics in, and there will be jobs that are going to be displaced, replaced, lost. All right, because if, if I don't need 10 people to do something that a robot can do, then I'm going to use a robot. Not only is big business going to do that, but it's going to trickle down to where small business, well, all business, even in your home, you're going to have somebody picking up your laundry, putting it in the in the washing machine and dry it for you. All that, I mean, I mean, not a somebody, a machine. How, how far away am I with that? I mean, are we in the Jetson age yet? Come on now, but now give us a lowdown. What's, what's really happening? Tell everybody first of all, you, you build robots, you teach robotics and all that, right? Talk about that. Yes, well, um, I am a former high school teacher that teaches um, applied technology. Um, and now I am a kindergarten teacher mm -hmm. that teaches STEM to little, little kids. You teach STEM to little kids? Yes. Excellent. Love it. And, um, and it's not only robotics, that's it's AI, it's the metaverse. Is cryptocurrency, mm -hmm. and although robotics is taking jobs away or replacing or displacing, we have new technologies that's out here that's craving for participation. Yes. For example, you have metaverse development, like I am a metaverse as a solution provider. I didn't know anything about the metaverse three years ago, and what I did, I was writing curriculum to teach my high school kids and I got downside so I decided to teach myself the curriculum that I was designing and for why now I have my own metaverse um, under STEM City USA. Excellent. Which Excellent. is a metaverse and now I develop metaverses for businesses, corporations, um, educational institutions and I teach it at Push Excel a yeah. part of our STEM. And that's program. a free program? Yes. At Push? It's, yes it's a free program every Saturday from 10 to 1 and we also have a summer camp program and not only we teach robotics coding we teach metaverse development cryptocurrency um, NFT creation music development and I'm meeting with a number of artists and musicians that don't know how to get their music and their art into an NFT um, marketplace and you have other nationality making millions off their NFTs. But black artists around the nation don't know how that process looks. Yeah. So I'm that type of metaverse. Like the AC Green Show, we need an NFT, huh? Not, not, not a matter of fact, um, I have a couple of um, black shows that are streaming their content in STEM City USA and STEM City Chicago. And one conversation I want to have with you is to discuss how that we could uh, have your show stream live and your previous Absolutely. Show. We're going to talk about yes. that. Yes, sir. And see, it, the, the more you know, the more you grow. Yes. Yes. And, yes, and those are the type of opportunities that young people can be engaged yes. in, older people. Yes. And they don't have to Listen, look at Listen, Asian look at and life. Indian children are leading the way because they're... Uh, they are around the information, so their exposure to the information is what's big. In the break, we're talking about how certain corporations are working. Like you mentioned Amazon, you mentioned their warehouse. Where else? Talk about that. Yes, um, right now, Amazon and companies are looking at inventory, blockchain, um, inventory, and how they can streamline that. For example, they have, they're right now working on electrical trucks that will, that's have AI. So from the manufacturing, the products are moved to the truck and those trucks are going to drive themselves. And then right now the drones flying around the warehouses moving packages yes. and all those. So for every drone that replaces about how many human beings? You know something, I would say that it may replace one person but the jobs that it creates, for example, you need a drone operator, you need a drone um, support system to repair the drones. You need a drone. And somebody has to be taught to yes, do all those things. Exactly. The GPS system. Drones don't fly fly themselves. There you go. And, and if you're teaching kindergartners, that's a big deal. We've been programming away, programmed away. From, the last thing that you they want is for the people that were brought here as slaves to be running the whole country. 
They know we're smart enough. We have, no, we have excelled in everything we've ever tried to do. They know that. But they don't want to put that front and center. If they really cared about your public education, there would not be some STEM schools. Every school would be a STEM school. You get what I'm saying? Family, this is nothing but a design. And we, got, we have to give our children the thirst for this. Just like they want to go to TikTok. Just like they want to go to their social media app. They have to, uh, need, we need to give them the love of tech. The love of, it needs to be in every church. You need to have a sign and a promotion in every church, in every school, in every party you have. Because if we don't change the way our children actually focus their attention, you all, they'll be the meal on the plate. I'm telling you, while everybody else is eating at the table. Zero. Zero. So, so, so hold on. Let me, let me bring context to this. Hold on. So now, if, if I told you earlier that the Indian immigrant community, and most didn't know this, are 30% above the white community in terms of average household wealth. Do y'all understand? In, in the Indian community, immigrant community, uh, they are 100% in tech and STEM. They ain't going no other way. They get it. They get it. Just like years and years ago, you all, when the Jewish community who were treated like dogs in America, y'all think black folks are? Well, Jewish folks used to be like that too. Guess what? They decided, we going to school, we going to become doctors, we going to become lawyers, and guess what? They own the hospitals now. They own the law firm. You get what I'm saying? They own the systems. Family, we have the greatest opportunities for these things. We don't only excel um, athletically, we can excel academically. Look at the top levels of everything. It could be more people, but they do not bring that to your school. How can a public school in Chicago not all be retrofitted with, with, with these systems and we're paying taxes? But a public school in Naperville can have all of it. How can, how can, not, they're not, how can there be a Nequa Valley in Naperville and not for their for their community and not a similar school in every community in the black neighborhood because they are intentionally setting you up for something different the average black child by the third grade they already got you predicted to be a part of the prison industrial complex because they see you like they brought you in i told my niece i tell my family and i tell you all the time don't you ever expect people to elevate you beyond where they brought you in. If you don't get together with your own self and your own people to elevate yourself and each other, nobody's going to elevate you. They have no intention to elevate you. They're going to make you be some, some version of what they, how they brought you in. They see you as a slave. And let me use this as a teachable moment, family. And, and I'm going back to something that happened this week. So, Don Lemon, who's at CNN, he, you know, he's been kind of quirky lately, and, and CNN hasn't been doing very well, and they're looking to cut salaries. But the single thing that got him fired was an interview that he had with Vivek. I can't even pronounce his last name, but he's a, he's a candidate for president. And he and Don Lemon had a conversation, and it ended up being kind of heated, and it got down to race. And Don Lemon got beside himself, instead of having a conversation with the guy, he challenged the guy. Well, he always challenges people. But what was different about this challenge? He challenged a man who is Hindu, who is a multi-millionaire. <laughs> and if Hindu Indian, if Indian immigrants are 30% higher in household wealth than white folks. Guess what the big suits at BlackRock who own CNN was like? <laughs> that Negro got to go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you're messing with our money. Y'all get what I'm saying? You, you, you can argue with, with, um, with, 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 with anybody else. You can argue with this one, but you can't argue with the money. And that's what the issue. See, family, it, follow the money, you get to the answer every single time. 
We are not going to be last on the totem pole. We're going to end up being the permanent underclass if we do not give our people the thirst. And just like you can, I saw a child, T.Y., I saw a child on TikTok today, and she was doing the, the booty shake dance like our mama. She couldn't have been three years old. Mm -hmm. Imagine if we were teaching, at the same time we teach them the booty shake dance, imagine if we were giving them a thirst for tech and for STEM at the same level. See, they want you to dance your way right to the pole house, right to the slavery. They want you to do that. They're good with that. But, but, but it's us that's buying it. We cannot buy this marginalization. Nobody can truly marginalize you. You have to participate. This is serious, family. So I want you to think about this. Didn't plan on taking this much time on this segment, I promise you. But as sure is our children, and they are ours, even if we didn't birth them. It sure is our children saying for the last 10 years, more and more and more, that they don't want to work in McDonald's. They don't want to work in fast food. As sure as they said that. And as sure as us as a community never developed a plan community-wide to make sure we advanced each other and ourselves. When technology come in and we are not equipped, our people are not equipped, to function in it. Where are we going to work? We don't own enough businesses to employ ourselves. Where are we going to work? I got your answer. There's an entire prison industrial, industrial complex. Many of the prisons are private and they make products and services. And I already know where we're going to work. Family, we gotta get serious about this. I'm not. I, I'm. I really guess I am trying to scare you because it's it's the ground zero time. They moving this in, and our kids ain't ready. Deborah, are our kids ready? Yes or no? Our children are brilliant, AC. We're ready. Are, are we ready though? As a whole, we no. Are not we are not ready. ready. No, we're we are not ready. But we do have that small number who are who, preparing and who are leading the path, and that's why it's so We need important. that to be community-wide. It has to be community-wide. and it Churches has to, need to be involved in this. I want to say amen to almost everything you're saying <laughs> because I feel like I'm in church because you're speaking the truth. Yeah, we do have students who are doing a lot of great things, and I believe every community, churches and everyone involved can also lead a path to gather those young people because whereas we see so many negative things on television, we have young people who are doing positive yes. things. And if our children is sharing, we need to make music, it popular. It has to be. We popular. need to highlight those young folks. And that's our focus at Math with Ease. When we do our STEM scholarship dinner, we want to shine the light on those young people who are striving, who are doing exceptionally well, because it's going to be those young people who will pay it forward in our community. But you hit it on the head. I'm advocating for churches, for neighborhoods, for communities. Everyone can uncle children yes. to school through college. They can niece them yes. through, auntie them through. Because my thing is this. They can even do their loose change challenge to help children get through school. Come on, you Our know. children can do this, and Math with Ease is committed. I am a recently retired educator. Now I am rewired, as my sister would say, to continue moving forward with what is important to me. And education for our children is essential. As Sharon said, let me say this. If our children know how to use a cell phone and tap on those different apps, why shouldn't they be the ones Build who those are apps. building, building those the apps? apps. Yeah, our children can do anything. anything. I've worked with young children in STEM. I've worked with young children in financial literacy, middle school students, uh, junior college students. Our children and our parents need to get back to knowing education is important. And I just want to say lastly, I just look at the local community that supports what I'm doing. Just local people, just simple people, ordinary people contributing what they can. And it makes an effect. It makes an impact. So no one can say, well, I don't have that type of money to give. As you mentioned earlier, if we could buy our children all these name brand shoes, all these clothes, all this name brand stuff, we need to invest we in have our to, children. Family. We, we have, have to. to. We to have invest to. Into their future. Right now, we are asleep to this. And, and, and with all the stuff that the systems always try to get you to participate in and scare you into that benefits them, they're not getting you to participate in your own, you know, uh, progression in terms of just this part right here. This part right here is the <coughs> linchpin family. Yeah. What we're getting ready to move into is going to either be a benefit to us 
or it's going to be the end of us economically, family. Because if, if the car came about, and there are some people that, and we know the Amish, no disrespect to them, are still using horse and buggy, you're not going to be able to get the same productivity out of the horse and buggy you can with the car. So I'm saying, family, there's a whole system, and it doesn't need to be those people are good at it, or this section of the black community is good at it. We need to be community-wide that our kids know how to code, know how to understand and build robotics. All of them need to know that. Whatever else they do in their life, well, you know, my child want to be a doctor. Learn how to code and still be a doctor. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to build a robot and still be a doctor. Learn AI and still be a doctor because you're going to need it all anyway. If your school doesn't have it, get it. You have a brand new mayor in Chicago. Challenge him to bring STEM community-wide to every single school. Hire the teachers you need. We got three strong pro professionals right here in the studio. So, Deborah, give them your information. I think you want to say one more thing about something you have coming up yes, and all that. Yes, yes. First, I want to give the information. If you have a senior in high school who is college-bound and interested in studying STEM, science, technology, engineering, or math, they need to apply real fast for our STEM scholarship. Our dinner is August 5th, 2023. If you have a student in sixth grade through adulthood who is interested in learning to code, they can also go to our website because we've partnered with uh, Sharon Eddings for Code with Sharon. We're also hoping to sponsor students through through uh, STEM City for their eSports as well. We can do it. Our children can do anything, but number one, it takes parents believing enough to make a move. Parents, uncles, the whole community, make a move and help our children reach the success that I know they can reach. All right, for the math, you want the website? Then well, I want you to give the, the, tel the telephone numbers are always good, the okay. website is good too, but you want them to get to you. Yeah. Phone number 708-253-8. 8921. Do it again. Again. 708-253-8921. One more time. 708-253-8921. Math with Ease. And the website is? Math with Ease. That's M-A-T-H with W-I-T-H. Ease. That's three E's. E-E-E-S-I-N-C dot com. All right. Math with Ease. And then to get a hold of Bernard, who does the robotics, and then um, Sharon, you want to give that telephone number one more time. You want me to give that? Yes. Number? Okay, you can. I'll give you my phone number again. 708-253-8921. All right, don't y'all be calling me later and hit me in social media saying, hey, what's that number? One more time. Y'all get this number. Okay. 708 Nine, two, one. Man, all right. With ease. Thank you all. I appreciate all of you. Um, I got some exciting stuff getting ready to happen in this, on the show. So you all want to stay right here. It's the AC Gray Show, Solo 1063.